Welcome to Tazonomy Online. Today we want to take the topic profit and loss. We have been using these kind of transactions day in day out. Now, when we talk of profit and loss, it's just a term that is used to describe a deal or a business transaction that is either profitable or not. If it is profitable to you, it means you gain, that is a profit. If it's not profitable, it means you have incurred what a loss. So some of the, the terms that we are going to encounter under this topic is going to be a profit. So if you are making a profit, as I said earlier, it means you have gained at your transaction. If you are making a loss, it means you are not profiting. You have incurred a loss. All right. Now we also have the call cost price. So it means that if I buy an article at a certain price and I sell it at a different price, if I buy an article and I sell it at a different price, the buying and selling, if the price are different, it means that either I am making a profit or I am making what? A loss. So the, the price at which an article it pitches is what they call cost price or the mark price. If I go to the market to buy a pen, if I'm paying for the pen five CDs, five Ghana CDs, it means that that is the cost of the pen I'm having. That is the cost price, the mark price. Now, when I come home and intend selling that pen at a different price, six CDs or four CDs, it means I'm having what? A selling price. So the selling price of an article or of a product is just the price at which an article is sold. The price at which an article is sold is what we call selling price. The price at which it is bought or purchased is called what? Cost price. All right. So in case your selling price is greater than your cost price, your selling price, if the selling price of the article is more than the cost price, then it means you have what? Profit. It means you gain. So if I have selling price, which is the SP, to be greater, meaning if I subtract that from the, if I subtract the cost price from the selling price, I'll be having what they call profit. That is, this is selling price, is greater than what, the cost price. Then I'm having a profit, I'm making a profit, I'm gaining. Now, if the selling price is now less than the cost price, it means that the cost price is bigger. So in that case, I am incurring what? A loss. So to get a loss, it means that your cost price is bigger than what? The selling price. So the moment the cost price is bigger, or in this case, the selling price is less than the, the cost price, then it means you have incurred a loss. So let's, for example, an article, you buy an article, let's say a pen, as I said earlier one, at what? Five Ghana CDs. Then you decided to sell that pen at what? Six Ghana CDs. You buy it at five and sell it at different price. So buying and selling, you either gain or lose. So the moment I, I have my cost price, five CDs, selling price to be six CDs. It means the selling price is greater than the cost price. So it means I am having what? A profit. So that simply means that the profit I am making from this transaction is going to be selling price, which is going to be our six Ghana CDs minus five Ghana CDs. So it means the profit thereof is going to be one Ghana CDs. So that is all about profit and loss in terms of business transaction or a business deal. So either I made a profit, so we are only looking at a selling price. Is the selling price greater than the cost price? If yes, then it means I am making a profit. But if the selling price is less than the cost price, then obviously I have incurred what? A loss. So let's take a question and see if we can apply this in it. All right, so we have a table which cost 60 Ghana CDs to manufacture, was sold for 98 Ghana CDs. Find the loss 
or profit. So from the beginning, we said that if the selling price is bigger or greater than the cost price, then there's a profit. So now we don't know whether it's a profit or uh, a loss. Now, this is the, the cost of the table. So we can say that cost price is going to be 60 Ghana cities. Then later on it was sold at this so our selling price is also going to be 98 Ghana cities. So from the previous definition, we said that when the selling price is bigger than the cost price, then I'm having what? A profit. So here, my profit Profit equals to the selling price of the table minus the cost price. So the selling price is what you have as 98 Ghana cities. Then you have the cost price to be 60 Ghana cities. So what do we do? We perform our operation to have. So it means that the profit made from the table is going to be 38 Ghana cities. So the moment the selling price is bigger than the cost price, we have a profit, we have a gain. All right, so I think that this can also be calculated for loss if the table were to be bought at 98 Ghana cities and later on was sold for what? 60 Ghana cities. Since the cost price is now bigger than the selling price, then we are going to incur what? A loss. All right, thank you very much. We will continue to find the percentage of profit or percentage of loss in the next episode. Thank you very much.